Hi everyone and welcome to my house. Uh, I am Brother Joe Hernandez or some of you will call me Pastor Joe Hernandez and I belong to Relevant LA uh, Leverage, or Relevant Church LA. Uh, we used to be called Relevant Wooded Hill. I'm at Relevant Church Wooded Hills, but we uh, we moved to the Van Nuys area and now we're in the Van Nuys ca campus. Uh, if you're in the area, and stop by our three o'clock service. Uh, we start our service at three o'clock. Uh, stop by and check us out. Uh, um, Call the church office number at 818-839-1942. Uh, and there, your questions will be answered. Um, I'm here to teach the Word of God. And we're going to continue our series on the on the book of 1 John, 2 John, and 3 John today. Um... Uh, and then we have a couple messages to tell you guys. Uh, we have a holiday message to talk to you guys. And we have the, we're still continuing our series for Unlocking the Mysteries of Genesis. So we have a lot to talk about today. Um, so let's get to the prayer of the week. Um, Brother Reggie um, had a stroke last week. Uh, he's gone home to see the Lord. Um, we pray for his family and friends uh, uh, and his wife uh, at this time in need. Um, yeah, he was one of the members of the church of um, in Winton Hills. So, um, and I met Reggie uh, my first year at the church. So, um, and our church is all, are going into its fifth year uh he fifth year of the services so um so we're praying for our church uh church lost a, a, a member of its family so um we're praying for it but the services and church has to move on but we are praying for it to today so um we're gonna pray for that too today um we do have a prayer of the week. We're going to read some scriptures. Uh, we got announcements coming up and uh, a worship song. Uh, and we get into the deep, uh, messages, okay? Okay, so um, I'm going to read out of the New King James Version. Sorry, guys, for that. this anyways praise the Lord anyways uh, if you turn to your Bibles to the book of Psalms chapter 35 verses 9 and I'm reading out of the new King James Version um, and it says that and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. In the book of Psalms chapter 63 verses 1. Uh, in the New King James Version. Says. An oracle within my heart concerning the transgression of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes. In the book of uh, Psalms chapter 66, verse 66, verses 1 through 4, uh, saying that, Make a joyful shout to God all the earth. Sing out the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your works through the greatness of your power. Your enemies shall submit themselves to you. All the earth shall worship you and sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name, Celia. And that will be it for the scriptures. 
Those battle hats was prayed to God. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we got it here today to thank you for all you've done. Thank you for everything, for the holidays you're going to give to us. We thank you for everything you've done in the world. Uh, we thank you that people are listening to me right now. If they haven't listened to me for no reason, for no reason they're on their way or for no reason they're not coming for some reason they're stopping to to worship they're stopping to hear your word lord for some reason we hear we were here to ask you lord to bring more people to our services to hear your word lord we ask you to watch over Pastor Calvin and Pastor Cheryl as they deliver the word of God and pray for you. They worship you, Lord. Also, we bring back Pastor Karen and Pastor uh, Ken as they deliver the word of God and sing the worship songs, the Christian songs. Bring back everyone in the church, Lord. We ask you this holiday season to bring back everyone to help them, Lord. I know people have stuff to do, Lord, but we we need we need you, Lord. They need you to worship, to help, to heal them, Lord, to bring them back in in times of needs. We also thank you, Lord, to for. Um, We thank you, Lord, for, um, we need, we need to, uh, thank you, Lord, to bring back Reggie to your house, Lord. Uh, I think you're calling him to, uh, because you're blessing him, Lord. Reggie was 50 years old, Lord. We, uh, uh, you called him f to come home for some reason. Reggie was a member of the church since I've been there, started Relevant Church with my spiritual parents, Pastor Calvin, Pastor Cheryl. But Reggie has come home to you. You ask him to come home because he did, he did his time with you, Lord. Uh, we ask you to watch over Reggie spiritually. We ask you to encourage him, him and everybody and his family in time and needs. And ask him to come to the church. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've done. And we, we glorify you. We honor you. We praise you. We'll get, um, we do everything for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you for praying. I need to have it. Um, anyways, so let's, let's worship the song, and then when we come back, we'll have some announcements, and then we'll get into the message, okay?
desperate for you. I surrender. Yeah. 
thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Yes, Lord. Okay, now I got interference now. Working. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Technical difficulties here. I got it online. Play the song. 
Did you forget to pay for virus protection for like the 30th week in a row? It's switching time. Now that's how you make an entrance. Oh my. Switch to built-in virus protection. Switch to Chromebook. Post down. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Alright guys, thank you for joining that worship song. That was really interesting. Um, those songs you're going to hear again and again and again when you hear them. I, di I, di I decided to just go to Hillsong uh, Worship um, on Spotify or Pandora. Those are Christian songs and you, you need those are worship songs you need to hear. So... Anyways, uh, welcome to Relevant, uh, my live my live stream YouTube channel. Um, I'm recording this today. Today, uh, the messages. So, I uh, welcome you to my Wooden Hills house in Wooden Hills, California, and it's based in Southern California, um, in the uh, West Side, San Fernando Valley. If you're, it, it's in the L Los Angeles area. Okay. I welcome you. I'm Brother Joe Hernandez. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, so I belong to Relevant Church LA. Um, the couple quotes, uh, make life make sense. My messages are to make life make sense to you guys. Um, that's our mission quotes. Mission quotes. Our mission note is we assist to lead people to a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, it's just not me you guys need to hear. You need to come experience it ourselves. Relevant LA has their uh, 3 o'clock services every Sunday. 3 o'clock it starts. Come and join our join us um, and experience the worship team and the and the uh, the word of God from our pastors. If you're in the Van Nuys area, come experience. Uh, it's called. It's at the Evision Center um, at one five zero five five Oxnard Street in Van Nuys, California. Please Google that and please join us uh, every Sunday at three o'clock. I hope to see you there. Uh, let's let's make our church. A better place in the name of Jesus okay uh, if you need any uh, information please check our website at relevant church uh, relevant LA dot org or contact the church office number 818-839-1942 and you're you're more welcome to check us out bring your friends bring your family bring your girlfriends boyfriends husbands wives uh children kids teenagers or college folks okay everyone is welcome at relevant church la in our three o'clock services okay um please don't be shy okay i know church is i know it's hard to go to church but it you need to come experience it it was hard for me first but i i got into it um it was it's fun now so please hear the word of god i know you guys can come at three o'clock okay please come if you can't we have you can light we live stream our services at three o'clock too so it's just not me doing this i'm our our church does it too so uh so i i recommend you guys come especially the holidays okay um uh, experience it okay right now uh, a few brief announcements right now media over nineteen thousand videos for you the netflix of bible study please contact me um if you want to get into writing our church's right now media account, it's free. 
and you might have to create an account but uh it is free for you guys it's the it's christian bible study okay it's one of the resources i do with um it's one of the resources i deal with when i teach the word of god to you guys okay so uh and it, it does have netflix of christian bible study and you can it's for everybody for everybody and everything for you guys okay so i hope you guys enjoyed it okay Bible study, make sure you come to our Wednesday night Bible study at the pastor's house at the Triana Apartment Complex. Wednesday nights from 7 to 8.30 at night. We start with accessory prayer at 6.30, so I recommend you guys come before 6.30. And uh, we have questions and answers with the Bible, okay? If you have questions about the Holy Bible, we would like to hear it and we'll have an answer for you guys. Social media, I do have social media. I do teach the word of God, okay? But I do have social media. Our church has social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter account. Make sure you check those out. Um, Relevant LA. Um, we do live stream the our, our um, services from uh, social media and the website so make sure you check us out and come experience it okay uh we do have an open mic uh thing coming up on december 5th uh, well actually a couple of them uh one of them is the church open mic uh thing uh event uh that will be coming up from i think it's six to nine is the open mic thing uh, it does have, I think we have it on the website now, or Faithlight Software. So, uh, contact the church office for details on that. We'd love to have you there at the Vision Center on December 5th to have the uh, open mic night. Um, come experience it, what, what God has planned for you. Ex uh, Speak out and see what what I want to hear your testimonies. Okay, so our to our church is hosting that uh, coming up. It is the holidays. Uh, I know everybody's going out of town. I want to wish everybody a happy holidays and happy Thanksgiving to you guys out there. If you hear my message, uh, and drive safe. Don't be do doing stupid things uh, during the holidays. Because it, it will haunt you back. So, um, the second announcement is I do have an open mic uh, day for you guys. Well, it's actually a poetry spoken word thing from one to four at the um, at the LA Valley College um, from at the fireside room. So I wish everyone to come out and experience it. So, and it's stress free because of finals. So, and it's a holiday theme too. So, just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. Faithfly Software, make sure you download the apps on iTunes and Google Play and sign up the desktop website. If you need help, contact me on Faithfly about Faithfly Software. All right, that's one of the resources I also teach you the Word of God too. On that, on another thing on Right Now Media, if you need help on Right Now Media, please contact me. I will uh, uh, with your email address and subject Right Now Media, and I will fight you. Okay, just to let you know on that. Okay. If you have any children, kids, a teenager, if you're interested in. Uh, bringing your kids to ch services that's great uh, if you are, are interested in joining the youth ministry uh, with your kids uh, please uh, contact the church office number or email them on the church website or there's a connection card um, and I'll tell you about that in a minute um, but also, Pastor Karen does a good job with the youth ministry there during the 3 o'clock services. And we, we appreciate having your children and kids and 
young adults here and college teenagers here with their worship team. If you have any talent or instruments or singing or anything to do with the youth worship team, we'd like to have you there. Uh, Pastor Ken does a good job of getting the worship team together, interviewing them. Uh, Dream Team, if you're interested, uh, setting up before services and after services it, to volunteer your services, and you'll have to. But if you have if you have a heart and want to volunteer, we'd love to have you on the Dream Team. Just let us know on that. Um, what else we got here? Oh, and connection cards. Um, if you want to connect with us, uh, there's two ways you can do that. Check our website out, email us, contact the church office number, or if you come to our 3 o'clock services, we have connection cards like this on your seats, okay? And there's a back side. You fill that information out, your contact information, um, your decision what you want to do with the church, any of prayer requests, we'll put that, that on there. Or tell me more about you, why you want to be with Relevant, Relevant Church LA. If you have any questions, comments, put it on there. Put everything on there. Please to place the connection cards in the offering bag when it passed by you. And thank you on that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, another uh, way you can connect is either on the website, fill out a connection card there, or you could do it Faithlife Software, which you might need help on if you need Faithlife Software. But and Faithlife Software is actually a good online resource and study the Bible anyway. So. Anyways, so I'm done talking about announcements. So, we got three messages today. Uh, one is about the, we're still on this series called First John, Second John, and Third John. And then the second message is about unlocking the mysteries of Genesis. We're going to talk about Ice Age today. So that's one of the questions we're going to be talking about. And then I have a Thanksgiving holiday message for you guys. So let's get going, okay? So uh, we're talking about the message of... Um, All right, I got I got a message for you guys right here. So let's open your Bibles up to the book of First John. Uh, so let's do this. If I put my PowerPoint on. Okay, so. So we're going to read out the new Key James Version today, guys. So we're opening our Bibles up to 1st John, 2nd John, and 3rd John, okay? I will read out the new King James Version. Um, let me. Uh, so we're talking about the book of First John, Second John, and Third John. Okay. So the the question they're, they're, we're talking about Dr. Tony Evans and everybody teaching me about this series. Uh, we're talking about comfortable Christianity often means a where where Christianity in the study of some, of John uh, John's three letters. Uh, Dr. Tony Evans challenges Christians who have 
who have grown comfortable and complacent in their faith, fellowship with God is the essence of our faith. Tony walked through uh, First, Second, and Third John to the to the uh, paint a picture of love, obedience, and truth, and the wood that hates Jesus. The ones who hate Jesus who are called to love him and his people and his uh, pierced love. So, um, so I'm going to read in the, the book of 1 John chapter 3 verses 24. And it says, Now he who keeps his commandments obeys in him. And he in him, and by this we know that he abates in us by the spirit whom he has given to us. So, um, So, um, sorry guys, I'm just typing in the, uh, the, uh, what I have. So, the, the title is The Spirit of Truth and the Spirit of, of Error. So now... He who keeps his commandments obeys in him, and he is him. And by this we know that he obeys in us by the spirit whom he has given to us. So it's, it's talking about residents in him. Believers desire to remain in relationship with God will stay involved with his work. By the spirit... The Holy Spirit assures dialogue goal and relationship with a believer as such as in is the key to knowing if God is ethically evolved in a person's life in the book of John chapter fourteen verses sixteen. So once we read chapter four verses one through six Um, let's read that right now. Uh, we're talking about, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but tests the spirits, whether they are, are of God, because many false prohits, prohits have gone out into the world. But, by this you know that the Spirit of God, every spirit that confessed that Jesus Christ has come into in the flesh is of God. And verse 3 says, And every spirit that does not confess that God, Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the, of the Antichrist, which is, you have heard, was coming. It is now already in the world and first war says you are the, of God little children and have overcome them because he wo who is in you is greater than he is who is in the world first five says uh, there are the, of the world therefore they speak as the, of the world and the world hears them and then verse 6 says, We are God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of the truth and the spirit of the error. So they're talking about John continues to discuss the role of the spirit in the life of the believers. He encouraged the community to evaluate teaching to determine if they are from God or from those who have separated from the community 
which is the Antichrist. In the book of 1 John chapter 2, verses 18, 19, uh, if I get to load it up here, and we're reading out of the NIT version, it's talking about warning of the Antichrist, uh, dear children, the last hours hour is here. We must heard heard that the Antichrist is coming, and that our, and already many such Antichrists have appeared. From this, we know that the last hour has come. Uh, these uh, people left our chur churches. But they never really belonged with us. Otherwise, they would have stayed with us. When they left, I proved that they did not belong with us. Hmm. Actually, that's kind of true, guys. Uh, we do have low numbers in our church. We're a small church, so we need to grow bigger. So... Uh, Spirit is reversed to the spiritual source of a teaching uh, doctrine in the first one. According to John, every teaching about Christ or, or originates from the spiritual source. A teaching is either true or from the Spirit of God or false. And false, and from the spirit of the de uh, de de seed. And verse six says, in the NLT says that, but we belong to God. But those who know God listens to us. If they do not belong to God, they would not listen to us. But that is how we know if someone has the spirit of the truth. In the spirit of de uh, deception, Shin. Test the spirit. Believers derive the abilities to test the truth and falsehood from anointing by God. Their knowledge of the teaching of Jesus and the work of the Holy Spirit is is there and in them. Uh, if you look at the book of First John, chapter two, verses twenty, says. But you are not like that, for the Holy One has given to His Spirit, and all of you, all of you know the truth. In the book of, uh, in verse 20 of the same chapter, it says, But you know you're not like that, for the Holy One has given you His Spirit, and all of you know the truth. Uh, in verse 27 says, Um, uh, but you have received the Holy Spirit, and He lives within you, so you do not need everyone to teach you what is t true, for the Spirit teaches you everything you need to know, and what his, He teaches is true. It is not a lie, so just as He taught you, remain in the fellowship with Christ. In, uh, in chapter 3, verses 24 in the NLT says, Those who obeyed God's commandments remain in fellowship with Him, and He will, and He with them. And we know that He lives in us because the Spirit has given us light and lives in, a, in us. So they can determine the Spirit's origin by examining exam whether He its teaching reflects the love of Christ. Throughout the, his letter, it says John addresses concerns about people who are presenting an alternate false uh, understanding of Jesus and his relationship to God, to the Father. Due to a similar concern, Paul also discusses the idea of discussing the Spirit in his letter to the Corinthians. So if you look at the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 10 in the NLT says that he gives one person the power to perform miracles and another to the ability to prophesy, prophesy 
He gives someone else the ability to discern whether a message is from the Spirit of God or from another spirit. Still, another person is given the ability to speak in unknown languages, while another is given the ability to interpret what it is being said. So, because of many false prophets, uh, testing is necessary because it is a pre presence of false teaching, which, based on the terminology used by John, was likely derived directly from an evil spiritual power. John likely is drawn on the description of uh, uh, description. In the book of Demetrology, chapter 13, verses 1 and 5, in the NLT, if I could get to that chapter, yeah, it's not going to pull, pull it up, but uh, let's read that, uh, you guys read that, uh, the chapter versus scriptures. About the testing of the province, in Demetrology, chapter 13, uh, Okay, now it's pulled up. Uh, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13, verses 1 through 5, says a warning against uh, idol idolatry. Uh, idol, what's that word? Idolatry. Uh, it says, suppose there are prophets among you or those who dream dream dreams about the the future and promise you signs of miracles and you predict signs and or miracles occur if they then say come and let us work worship another gods god gods you have have not known before do not listen to them the lord your god is testing you to see if you're truly Love him with all your heart and soul. Serve only to the Lord your God and fear him alone. Obey his commands. Listen to his to his voice and cling to him. The false prophets of visionaries who try to lead your ashtrays must be put to death. For they encourage rebellion against the Lord your God, who redeemed you from a slavery and brought you out of the land of Egypt. Since they tried to lead you to the asteroids, asteroid, from the way the Lord your God, your God commanded you to live, you must put them to death. In this way, you will purge the evil from among you. And that, that's what we read everything here. Uh, in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 15 says, The tree of its root, beware of false providence who come, dis who come disgusted as a harmless sheep, but really vicious wolves. As well as the spiritual gifts as discerning between spirits. And uh, we just read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 10. What about the book of Philippians chapter 1 verses 9 and 10? It says, I pray that your love will overflow more and more. That you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. For I want you to understand what is really matters that you may live per or bl blameless lives until the day of Christ returns so in verse 2 says the spirit of God refers to the source of the teaching about Christ uh, okay so if you confess with Jesus Christ and come in flesh a true spirit from the God will confess with Jesus true humanity. So the later heraldic teaching knows as the uh, the system held that Jesus appeared to be inhuman, but that his his humanity was nothing more than an uh, than an illusion. 
the uh, sexist in First John seems to be to have shared views similar to Donatism, but making the consecration of the session tesis were able to deny Jesus' actual human experience. If verse 3 says, does not confess Jesus, well, with verse to dying Jesus and Mary compared to uh, the book of First John chapter 2, verses 18, <clears throat> it says, warning about Antichrist, uh, dear, dear children, that the last hour is here. We have heard that the Antichrist is coming. It's already made such Antichrists have appeared. From this, we know that the last hour has come. So that means John is opposing a group of people who hold this view, which goes against Jesus' true identity. Uh, it is coming, and now it is. Um, John commonly uses phrases such as this, which further by this letter with the Gospel of John. Um, in the book of John, chapter 4, verses 23 says, um, But the time is coming, indeed it's there, it's here now, when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in the truth, but the Father is looking for those who will worship him that way. In uh, chapter 5, in the book of John, chapter 5, verse 25 says, If you assure you the, the time is coming, indeed and it, it, it's here, now when did the dead will hear my voice, the voice of the Son of God, and those who will listen with with you live life live in the book of John chapter 16 verses 32 says but the time is coming indeed it's here now when you will be scattered each of one going to his own, own way leaving me alone yes I am not alone because the father is in within me so in verse 4 says it conquers Conquer them. So the belief, the true believers prevail over false teachings because of Christ, whose spirit resonates in them, is stronger than the Antichrist and any spiritual powers at the work in them. In the book of First John, verses chapter four, verses one, and we just read that, but I'm going to read it in the NLT if I get. Load up and it, it says discerning false prophets. Dear friends, uh, do not believe everyone who claims to speak by the Spirit. You must test them to see if the Spirit they have comes from God, for there are many false prophets in the world. As believers face false teaching, they have assurance in Jesus' victory over evil. In verse 5, we're talking about from the world, their values are derived from human society. Does it does not uh, listen to us? In verse 6, means John is speaking about the who have left the representative congregation and reject God's truth. And this is uh, in refers to the confession in verse 2 and 3. Of the same, what we're talking about in this series in chapter 4, 1 John chapter 4. Um, as you look at the book of John, chapter 16, verses 13 and 14, we're talking about where is the spirit of the truth comes. He is, he will guide you into the all truth. Um, he will not speak on his own. But will uh, will will teach you what he has heard, and he will tell you about the future. 
but w he will bring me glory by teaching you whatever he receives from me. Now we're going to go into verse 7 through 16. We're talking about knowing God for love, okay? Okay, so let's read that. So, first seven says, Be loved, let us one love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. And verse eight says, He know he who does not love Love does not know God, for God is love. Verse 9 said, in, in this, the love of God was manifest toward, toward us, that God has sent uh, his only begotten Son into the world, and we might live through him. Verse 10 says, And this is love, but not that we love God, but that we we he loved us and sent his son by the prohibition of our for our sins. And uh, verse eleven said, "Be loved." If God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Verse twelve says, "No one has seen God at any time. If we." Love one another, God obeys in us, and he thus has been preferred in us. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm um, go ahead. Verse thirteen says, By this way we know that we obey in him, and and he is in us, because he has given us all the spirit his spirit. And verse 14 says, And we do, we have seen and testified that the Father has sent the Son as, uh, as Savior of the world. We, um, whoever, uh, verse 15 says, Whoever confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God obeys in him, and he is God. And then verse 16, 16 says, As we have known and believed the love of that God has for us, God is love, and He and and He who obeys in love obeys, abides in God, and God in Him. So I say this, guys, in verse seven, and we're talking about, and it gets into chapter four, five, verses four. Now John explains that God's true children will reflects his character and John also amplifies another central teaching denial denied by false teaching Christ's saving work on the cross so seeing God through love sorry so if we go to sorry guys so if we followed, the first seven says, We're fathered by God. Those whom God has fathered spiritually, believers in Christ, enjoy a relationship with him. In the book of 1 John chapter 1, verses 3 says, We proclaim to you that we ourselves have actually seen and heard so that you may have fellowship with us in our uh, in our fellowship with him, the Father and his Son, Jesus Christ. And in, in, in the book of First John chapter 3, verses 1 says, See how very much our Father loves us, for he calls us his children, that he is what we are, but the people who belong to his, this world... Don't recognize that we are God's charm because we don't know him. Uh, in verse 10 in the same chapter, um, if I get to it. Doesn't look like we're going to have verse 10. Okay. So they, 
Okay, so we're talking about that. You you read first John chapter uh first John chapter three verses ten later, but um uh, on your own. But they have been adopted. Adopted means that if I get to the loading it up, but uh Okay, so it doesn't say anything on that. But uh, it's been adopted as God's children, as Father, God provide His children with guidance through the Spirit. Spirit. John uses of this this uh, language reflects to God's act of making people one with Him and restoring the image of God intended for the humanity in the beginning. In the book of Genesis, chapter one, verse twenty-seven. Um, for some reason, it's not letting me do this because uh, the Wi-Fi is not working. That's probably why. Come on, dude. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, now maybe I'm getting 10 now. Huh. Okay, so Genesis chapter 1 verses 27 set in the NLT says, So God created human beings in his own image, and the image of God he created them. Male and female has he created them. And verse 8 says, God is love. Well, alone love is a essential attribute of God. John is not making a, a abstract statement about God's character. John's point is that God can be known only through the dem demonstration of his love. Most providently seen and seen his son in the flesh as a sacrifice for his Humanity. And verse 9 says, The love of God, uh, God demonstrate that his love for humanity and creation by sending his own son to die as a mean of atonement for sin. Um, hold on. Uh, 